In July, the world learned of the sad passing of Kazuki Takahashi, the creator of Yu-Gi-Oh. At the time, his death was recorded by officials as a drowning, but a recent report from the US military's newspaper has provided some extra details not known at the time regarding his heroism at the time. First, a little background about Kazuki Takahashi. Takahashi was born in Tokyo on October 4, 1961. In 1981, Takahashi's one-shot manga Ink Love Ball, submitted under the pen name Hajime Miyabi, won the show Gakukan New Comic Award and was published in Weekly Shonen Sunday in the same year. His serial debut was in 1986 with Go Q Choji Ikamen, an adaptation of the TV sports anime of the same name, published in Kodansha's Weekly Shonen Magazine. In 1990, his one-shot Tokyo no Taka was published in Shueisha's Weekly Shonen Jump. Another manga, Tenen Shoku Danji Bure, was published in the magazine from 1991 to 1992. In a 2002 interview, Takahashi later called most of his early manga work a, quote, total flop. While he might have considered his early career work a flop, he still had a lot of potential and he would soon deliver with perhaps one of his best works. In 1996, Takahashi launched Yu-Gi-Oh! under the pen name Kazuki Takahashi in Weekly Shonen Jump, where it was serialized until 2004. The series became a huge success and sold more than 40 million copies. The series has also received several media adaptations, notably an anime television series and a trading card game developed by Konami, which holds the Guinness World Record for the best-selling trading card game in history, with more than 25.1 billion cards sold as of 2011. Takahashi continued to supervise the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise following the end of the original manga's run. In 2013, his one-shot manga, Trump, was released in Weekly Shonen Jump. In 2015, Takahashi received the Inkpot Award from Comic-Con International for his outstanding contributions to comics. In 2018, Takahashi published the limited series The Comic in Weekly Shonen Jump. Takahashi also wrote a two-part manga titled Secret Reverse for the Marvel Shonen Jump Plus Super Collaboration, which was released on Shonen Jump Plus in September 2019. Speaking of his personal life, Takahashi likes to play games such as shogi, mahjong, card games, and tabletop role-playing games. In an interview with Shonen Jump, Takahashi stated that his favorite manga from other authors included Akira by Katsuhiro Otomo, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure by Hirohiko Araki, and Dragon Ball by Akira Toriyama. He also enjoyed reading American comics, with Hellboy being his favorite American comic book character. His pet dog, a Shiba Inu named Taro, happens to be the basis for the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game Monster Card Shiba Warrior Taro. The card's artwork was personally drawn by Takahashi himself. He occasionally expressed political opinions with his art. For instance, he once posted a drawing on Instagram of Yu-Gi-Oh! characters criticizing the Shinzo Abe government and asking his followers to, quote, vote for justice in the 2019 House of Counselors election, for which he later apologized. So, how did Takahashi die? Well, on July 6, 2022, Takahashi was found dead in the water 300 meters off the shore of Nago, Okinawa, by Japan Coast Guard officers following a civilian report from a passing boat. He was found wearing snorkeling gear, and his cause of death was determined to be drowning. On October 11, an American military newspaper, Stars and Stripes, reported that Takahashi had died in the afternoon of July 4 while assisting in the rescue of three others who were caught in a rip current. According to reports, the Japanese artist helped rescue a U.S. soldier, an 11-year-old girl and her mother, from a current at a dive spot in Japan. Major Robert Borjo, 49, told Stars and Stripes that Takahashi had tried to help rescue those who were caught in the riptide when he drowned. A Marine official reported on July 6 that a body was found floating in the water, according to a Japanese outlet, NHK. First responders arrived on the scene and declared that individual dead. The next day, it was confirmed to be Takahashi. He was 60 when he died. You play that what-if game a lot, Borjo told Stars and Stripes, adding of Takahashi, quote, this guy had a huge impact on the world, end of quote. Borjo, who is from Missoula, Montana, was serving as a scuba diving instructor at Mermaid's Grotto around 2 p.m. local time. He recalled, quote, the conditions were really, really rough. He saw a local woman screaming for help as her daughter and a 39-year-old soldier were being swallowed by a heavy current. They were roughly 100 yards from the shore at the time as the six-foot waves hit them. Borjo teamed up with one of his scuba diving students to reach the snorkelers, and another student called for help. He said he quickly grew tired as he pulled her closer to the shore. Along the way, he came across her mother, who by that time had also been pulled into the dangerous waters. Takahashi also intervened and jumped into the water himself. Borjo said he didn't see him in the water. Instead, one of Borjo's students spotted him coming in and out of the current until he was pulled away completely. He added, he's a hero. 
he died trying to save someone else. And indeed, he is a hero. May his soul rest in peace. That's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed watching this one. Thanks for watching.